Thanks to a new program, kids can now learn math-solving equations uh, that actually relate to real-life events. In today's Learning Curve, we're learning all about Q-Math. And to tell us more, we're joined by Manan Kerman, all the way from India. Hi, Manan. Hi, good morning, Tina. Good morning. This is Jordan also. Just Hello. To introduce Hi, you both. Hi, Jordan. Great to see you. You created Q-Math and an easy way to, for, I guess, kids to learn more visually. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, Tina. So math, you know, is a subject that many kids fear. You know, they don't care about math. But math is actually quite beautiful, quite a logical subject if learned the right way. It's also a very, very important life skill in today's age. So QMath's mission is to teach kids math the right way. And QMath is a math learning system that I created seven years back. And over these years, it has evolved into one of the largest live online math learning platforms in the world. Well, we're looking we at a live class platform. We're yeah. looking at this video here yeah. that you that was sent to me. And what is this? Right. What is this supposed to teach us here? Five plus seven so, plus nine. So you know, there's this. Yeah, there's this question, Tina, that I often ask parents and students: find three odd numbers with sum to twenty. And whenever I ask this question, everyone starts trying out various combinations in their heads mechanically, you know, in the quest to find the right answer. Mm -hmm. Because in math, we've been trained that solving a math problem is always about finding the right final answer. But in the case of this problem, you know, the situation is different because if you take two odd numbers like five and seven, they will always sum to an even number. Mm -hmm. But if you add another odd number like nine to the sum, you will always get an odd number. So three odd numbers will always sum to an odd number, but 20 on the other hand is an even number. Got and it. therefore three odd numbers can never even sum to 20. You know, so this is an example of mathematical reasoning uh -huh. and forms the core of the QMath approach. Yeah. Yeah. And you're using it like you mentioned visually. Uh, you know, I struggled with math, but when you add that element where the, these kids can see it, they can make that connection to the numbers and the actual equation or the, the, the problem solving, correct? Exactly, uh, Jordan. In our classes, you know, tutors work one-to-one -one with the students and use a lot of visuals, a lot of simulations to help them learn math by reasoning. And this makes math not just easier, but also a lot of fun. And our ultimate goal through QMath is to help students, you know, build deep confidence and deep mastery in math and transform them into, you know, these really invincible problem solvers. So how is QMath different than other programs? We think of math as a life skill. Uh, you, know, you know, math is no longer an optional skill. It is the single most important skill that every kid should master today because it's the language of all problem solving. You know, the hottest areas of today, like data science, machine learning, quantum computing, cryptocurrency, all of these have math at their core. And we treat math as a skill to be mastered, not just as a subject, you know, where you need to do well at school. Uh, so we have a mastery based approach to math, very visual, very focused on reasoning. Uh, as I said, you know, our tutors are experts at teaching math, you know, in this special manner that we call the QMath method. And ultimately, our goal is that through this visual approach, students end, end up building a very deep mastery, very deep hold on math concepts. Well, wonderful, wonderful. It's qmath.com if you'd like more information. Manan, thank you so much for your time. What time is it there in India? It's about 9 p.m. in India. Okay, oh. okay I thought you were going to say <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning or something. All right, thank you All so right, much. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> And again, uh, we've linked more stories and resources for distance learning on our website, our sister station, CBS 13. Head over there to cbs13.com slash learning curve. Mm -hmm. All right, the happy unicorn is ready to ride. So yeah, share the great things that uh, have been happening in your life. Email gooddaycaymaxtv.com. We're going to be having uh, Tell Me Something Good at the end of the hour. Yeah, we'll share those a little bit later. And help your houseplants, fruit trees, and flowers to turn over a brand new